Hi and welcome to Notes for Newbies. My name is Gordon Russell and I'm the creator of Notes for Newbies. Notes for Newbies is a series of videos which have been created specifically for homebusinesslearner.com. In this video I'm going to talk about the concepts of planning your projects and although it was meant to be related to the creation of your video series it can also be applied to any project that you work on. I've only just started using development plans for my own projects however I don't think I'll ever go back to the way that I used to work because it just wasn't productive. I can see now that project planning is actually going to become the biggest part of my project creation. I'm now finishing projects that were getting left on the shelf, including this one, which I've been talking about doing for nearly 12 months. Talk's good, but it's what you do that matters. So let's see some action. In this video, I'm going to talk about the concept of planning, planning techniques, what software I use to prepare my project plans, and some simple alternative planning tools. So let's get started with the concept of planning. About a month ago, I watched a webinar that changed how I create my products, my clients' websites, and I'll be applying this principle to any project that I work on in the future. The webinar was free, but the advice that those guys gave was more valuable than anything I've ever paid for, and I've purchased a ton of material. The concept was so simple, and if you get nothing more from this video series, take this one lesson away and bank it. I can't even remember what the actual webinar was about, but I got three messages from it that opened up my eyes and boosted my productivity to a whole new level. Some internet marketing gurus talk about their defining moments when they went aha and suddenly got the concept. They seen the light and started making money. Well, this was my aha moment and I seen the light big time. I'm not swimming in riches yet, but the fact that you're watching this video series and have logged into homebusinesslearner.com is proof that my products are coming together and I'm starting to see the money already. So what were these life-changing messages? It was fairly simple. Number one, be good to your mother. Number two, eat your veggies. And number three, send me lots of money. No, not really. And please forgive me for my warped sense of humour. My wife keeps telling me that I'd better get this internet marketing stuff right because I'll go broke as a stand-up comic. The three things that I learned were planning is important and don't forget the details. It's now the foundation for all of the projects that I'm working on and I have to say that I've been pumping them out ever since I started putting a plan in place for each project. It's so easy. Put down step one, do this. Step two, do that. It's like painting by numbers. And if I'm interrupted, I can pick up at any time from where I stop working because I know where I'm up to and what I need to be doing next. Do you know how many times in the past I did the same task over and over again because I forgot what I was doing or just jumped onto something else because I thought it was more interesting on the day? Those shiny bright objects are project killers. You need to get focused and break your project down into simple, small series of steps and tasks. Work on only one task at a time and don't move on to the next task until you've finished working on the current task. If possible, don't stop on the current task until you've finished it. I'd actually suggest that you don't even start a task in your project unless you know that you can finish it in one sitting and then mark it as being finished. When you're in the flow, keep going. Knock out your project components one by one. The next thing that I learned on that webinar was that you need to find one problem and build a product that solves that problem. That is, provide one solution for one problem. Although this is a series of videos, they come together to overcome the problem of you being able to create a video series of your own. Get your first product out there and start making some money. In this video series, I'm going to teach you where to get information from to use as the foundation for your own video series, how to prepare the content, how to create your video, and the problem we're overcoming here is the need for you to have your own product to sell. So keep it simple. Find one problem and provide one solution for that problem. The third thing that I learned on that webinar has kind of been covered, but it needs to be talked about in more detail, because it's the real reason behind me getting four projects out the door in the past four weeks, and they're all beginning to make some passive income. I created them once, put support mechanisms in place, and I'm already working on the next projects. This one last thing was like saying, show me the money. Things are really starting to happen for me. So what's this last vital step in the project planning process that's changed my life so much? It's simple. See your project through to completion before you do anything else. 
Doing this has been the greatest contributing factor to my projects getting completed. You see, I'm a serial entrepreneur. And one of the afflictions of a serial entrepreneur is the fact that we constantly are under attack from ideas. Ideas attack me all the time and I can't help but want to turn them into money. Without any exaggeration, I have over 40 domains and all have been purchased with a plan in mind for developing an online business or product for them. One of the downsides of this disease, yes, let's call it a disease, and the problem that comes from being a serial entrepreneur is that most of us are great at coming up with ideas, but we suck at planning and seeing them through to the completion. Can you imagine how life-changing it is for me to receive the revelation of the concept of putting a plan in place, making sure every detail is in that plan, working on one solution to one problem, and having a series of manageable small projects that result in me being able to pump out project after project. It is insanely life-changing. And I challenge you to get just as enlightened about the concept of planning as I am. So before we move on to the next topic, where I show you how I put my plan in place, and what tools I use, let's summarise what I've just spoken about in small digestible chunks. Step one is very simple. Put a plan in place and don't leave out any of the details. Step two, make sure your plan solves one problem for your target audience. That's one solution for one problem at a time. Step three, see your project through to completion. Make sure you break your plan down into small digestible chunks and work on each part of the project until it's completed. Before I move on, I'd like to thank Don Wilson and Fouad Tolib, I hope I've got that right, for providing me with the insights that I've just spoken about. If you ever get the chance to attend one of their webinars, buy one of their products, or get personal training from them, don't hesitate. These guys will help you get amongst the money fast. Thanks guys. Okay. So let's move on and have a look at the way I put together the plan for this project and talk about the tools I use. When you break the planning process down into its most simplest understanding, the planning process I use is nothing more than a set of lists. They're placed in an order and then each task is performed in that order. It really is that simple. Make lots of lists and perform the tasks in the list one by one. I'll give you some more details on this as I talk about how I put my plan in place for this project. So let's have a look at what software I'm using to prepare these lists. And then I'll give you a look at the project plan I created for this project. That's the video series that you're purchasing and are watching now. I wanted to use tools for this project in particular that don't cost anything. That's all free stuff. I've included reference to free tools throughout the entire video series and the planning tools I'm using are no exception. Although I have a full Microsoft Office suite installed on my PC, I downloaded and used a free alternative called OpenOffice for this project. OpenOffice can be downloaded for free from openoffice.org. The software I use for planning is called Calc, and it's the OpenOffice equivalent to Microsoft Excel. If you have Excel, there's no need to download Calc, because Calc is a spreadsheet program that works almost the same as Excel. No point installing software you don't need, if you have software that will do the job already, then use it. In Calc, I've created a series of lists and set them out in tabs. The order of the tabs is the order that I create the components for this video. The tabs have been color coded to show different parts of the project. The project overview tab is in red. The core video series in light blue. My bonus content is in maroon. And the final video task is to create my introduction video and this has been labelled in purple. Just as a matter of interest, I leave the introduction video until last, just in case any of the original planned content changes during production. If there are any important things I think of while I'm writing the scripts for each page, I like to include them in the introduction. So I create what is essentially the first video you see in the series last, so I don't miss out on including anything that's important. The final set of tasks in orange cover sales and admin, and marketing tasks. These are the back office type tasks. And again, I don't create these until the video series has been created. That way, I can include everything that matters in the sales pages, marketing funnel, and put mechanisms in place to support the features included. I want to have the best chance of getting an opt-in into my mailing list, so I always want to see the product outcome and present the best reason at the most appropriate points for people to opt into my mailing list. 
The first thing I did when I put this plan together was write a high level overview of the project and the tasks I needed to create tabs for and put them into the first tab, which is the project overview tab. This tab includes notes that remind me I have to brand each of the slides. I wanted to brand these slides with reference to notes for newbies and my membership site homebusinesslearner.com. I also had to include the name of the course, making a video series using PLR or from PLR. I made a list of the videos I wanted to create, a list of the bonus material and the admin and back office tasks that were included. Once I created the list of things I needed to do, I created a series of lists for each of the tasks I identified in the overview list. Each of these lists included branding options for the slides, a high level overview of the voiceover scripts that needed to be written for the video, a list of the products to present in the video, including their website addresses if they were downloadable, a list of the screenshots or screen capture videos to include in the video. I created a list for everything because the more detail that you can put into your plan, the smoother your project will run. And if you put everything you need into these lists, you'll know when you've finished creating that part of the project. Project scope creep can be a huge project killer. That's where you keep adding things into the project because you think it's going to be expected of you to put it in there. Write down the essentials in your project plan and create exactly what you've planned for. Don't let the fact that you think you need more than you actually do stop you from finishing your project. Your projects need to have the essentials, but you don't have to teach everyone everything for the project to be completed. I'll give you an example. In this series, I'll be including some details on image editing software that you can use. But the graphics I created for my marketing material, website and the video slides are a result of the fact that I've spent nearly 3,000 hours using Photoshop. I can't teach what I've learned in that time in this short video series. You'll need to know how to use the image editing software, spend some time learning how to use it like I did, or you'll have to outsource it. So summarising this last bit in a few words, write down at the beginning of your project what's essential to deliver your video series. Avoid adding stuff that's not needed. Deliver it in a series of steps. Don't wrap it in stuff that's not needed. Just get the job done and don't spend your whole life trying to make it perfect. In this video series, I'm going to show you where to get the content for from your videos. If you choose a complete PLR package, the appropriate type of package, you should have the majority of your content created. Don't go adding to it if you don't have to, just do it. Okay? I've shown you the tools that I use for planning. Now I'm going to show you some alternative tools that you can use for planning. If you consider the planning process to be nothing more than a series of lists, as I told you that it is, then you should appreciate that there's a lot of free tools out there that you can use for creating your lists. You could use Calc, as I've done, or you could use the Microsoft Alternative Excel. You could write your lists in a series of Word documents. You could use Notepad or any other text editor. You could create one document that starts with the overview and then has every step listed below. Start at the top, perform all the tasks that you've listed, and then work your way down the list to the last task at the bottom. Or you could create a series of smaller documents and save them in a folder, and as you complete them, you could move them to a completed folder. I did this with the scripts that I created, and as I recorded them, I moved them into a completed folder. A lot of gurus use and show their plans in mind mapping software, and it's a good idea, it's great, um, and it has its own purpose as well. But I'm not going to cover the topic of mind mapping here, because all I want you to do is start making lists, and the tools I've spoken about will allow you to do that. Okay, I'm going to wind up this video here with the best advice I can give you. Find one topic that people need help learning about. Teach about the solution to that topic or that problem. That's one solution for one problem. That's what your video series needs to be about. Write everything down and don't miss a thing. Don't include anything that's not essential to your video series, but make sure that you don't miss anything that is. If your PLR product is comprehensive, don't add to it at all. Start creating your video series from the first task in your list and don't stop until you've finished all the tasks. But remember, the better your plan, the easier it will be for you to come back to your project and start again wherever you left off if you're ever interrupted. 
or if it's a large project you'll be able to come back at any time throughout the project and just pick up on the next piece. If you can, start creating your project and don't stop until it's finished. What I mean here is complete your project in one sitting. I know it won't always be possible but if you can do it, it's the most efficient way to complete any project. Well, that's all we have here folks. Get into it and start planning your projects. One more suggestion before I go. After watching all of the videos in this course, you might like to come back and watch this video again before you begin your project. I think the planning process is that important. And if you can see the value of watching the video again, watch it again. Watch it again and again. Good luck with your project and get productive by planning well. I hope you found the information in this video useful. And as always, I've included links to any products I've mentioned in this video directly below. I look forward to teaching you some more in the next video.